Hello, uh, I'm Joe Long. I'm the Curator of Education here at the South Carolina Confederate Relic Room and Military Museum. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a recent acquisition in our collections, kind of an ugly, ugly object. Uh, this is a bolo which was brought home from the Philippines by a South Carolina soldier. Now the bolo was the traditional weapon of the Moro people of the Philippines uh, who fought against the United States government in the early 20th century. Uh, the bolo knife is heavy, it's chopping, it sort of has a forward momentum to it, even holding the thing. Uh, and a surgeon of the time described the bolo wounds. Uh, he said that this weapon, as this one is, was of wrought iron with a wooden or a bone handle that had varied in shape and size from sword to dagger uh, and from uh, meat cleaver uh, to corn knife. It was a crude weapon, uh, very effective. It could be hidden underneath your jacket, which was one reason that the Moro people preferred to use these uh, rather than using a sword or saber that American troops could spot from a distance. The things did terrible damage. Uh, the surgeon that described bolo wounds in the Army Journal said that the wounds produced by the bolo are often of great length and usually infected. Uh, but this one would have a further story to it. Uh, it came to us uh, not necessarily as a war trophy, but as something that was picked up and carried by a South Carolina soldier. Uh, now this man's name was Lewis Allen Griffith and he first went with the 2nd South Carolina Regiment in the Spanish-American War uh, to Cuba, where he served as an occupation soldier. Afterwards, he would go with the 42nd United States Infantry uh, to the Philippines during the Philippine Insurrection, and he was serving as a medical doctor there uh, in the capacity as a surgeon. Uh, there were a number of reasons medical personnel liked to carry these big, heavy knives. Uh, they were used to cut poles for stretchers, they were used to clear brush, it was often handy to have a tool like this, uh, and this one again probably taken from a Moro insurgent at some point. Uh, but persistent folklore has been that another reason that these were carried was to have a handy implement for a field amputation. Uh, the surgeon who carried it, Lewis Allen Griffith, uh, would come home, would have a very successful and long medical practice in Columbia, and would serve as mayor of the city of Columbia uh, for the entire four years of the First World War from 1914 to 1918. Uh, so we have an object here with some social significance, uh, uh, with some possible medical usage, uh, but you can feel just holding it, its original use as an instrument of mayhem firmly intact.